Dominic Mangiello. I teach grade three and four at Henry Hudson. I'm also a graduate student at uh, UBC. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about games and learning today. Um, I've gamed for probably over 25 years of my life. I've been very passionate about gaming. Um, I still game now. I'm a gamer. Um, I probably I played about over two hours of games before coming here. Don't tell my students. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about my history with gaming. Um, in high school, I played a lot of games and. This is one of them, which was StarCraft. Um, my parents got to the point where they started taking the computer away and the computer boards away, um, but I was smart enough to actually have some spares and I would sneak up in the middle of the night and go and play against uh, my uh, friends who lived in Australia and in uh, China. Uh, there's been a lot of negativity around games and gaming. Um, this is a great picture that indicates exactly how uh, violence in video games does not equal violence in real life, and, and I hope to talk a little bit about who our gamers are. <laughs> That's not a true picture of what gamers are like. Sure, there might be some, but really, they're, they're the kids that we see every day in our classroom. Um, they play games on a daily basis. Here are a little bit of stats. For those of you who play Final Fantasy, this is what you would normally see in a, uh, a game. but. Uh, you can tell that you know they're everywhere. They're they're in our lives and they're in our classrooms. And they're not those old weird kind of like uh, what you just saw. Um, their community of people. Oh, I'm not talking to the mic properly. Um, uh, games done quick. Uh, Austin Dean games done quick. Just raised over 1.5 million dollars um, playing video games really really fast. Um, they're speedrunners. Um, this is an esports tournament um, where. Uh, Basically, 15-year-olds uh, make over a million dollars playing video games, and this is the Super Bowl of one of the games. Um, so there's this attention given to games, and, and we're slowly kind of figuring that out now. And, and for me, this is my life. I love it. I study it. I, I mean, I'm learning it. I'm doing it in my grad studies, but I, I mean, I live it as well. We used to play like this, right? I mean, I used to play like that. I still do. But we're getting more and more to the stages where we're using tablets, we're using uh, computers, we're using electronic devices to play games. Um, in my classroom, I try to do a mix of both. Um, we do a lot of board games, we do a lot of tabletop <coughs> games, and we do a lot of digital games. Here's a picture of my students playing Minecraft right now. They actually rebuilt the entire school at Henry Hudson uh, using Minecraft, all the floors and whatnot. <coughs> Game-based learning is, an also, is also a really trendy word that you're probably hearing a lot about right now, but you're not quite sure what it is. Basically, it's the idea of playing a game and being able to apply knowledge within a real life or real world setting. So building something in school and then being able to do it outside. This is a quote. Generation P is where our kids are at. You're probably hearing a lot of grade three, grade four students that have YouTube channels because they're playing games and they're showing themselves online and you're showing what they're doing. I love this kind of stuff. Video games are good for you. They uh, promote uh, motivational, emotional, cognitive, and uh, social skills. I love playing this game. This is actually a screenshot from one of the games that I'm playing right now, which is uh, Super Mario 3D World. This is a blank slide. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, <laughs> um, I'm just going to talk to the. <laughs> just wait and see what the next one is. <laughs> yeah, this is this is here. Games offer this safe environment where kids can explore without feeling that negativity of the outside world. So I feel the same way when I'm playing games. I can play games and not feel this judgmental uh, attack from everyone else. I hope to talk to you a little bit about gaming in the classroom and bringing it into your classrooms. It's not so easy. You have to have a plan. You have to be ready. And you have to be. Uh, uh, you have to do your research. For me, it's easy. I love games. I've been doing it for many years now. First of all, is finding out what you have at your school. What are your disposal? What's at your disposal? Do you have tablets? Do you have laptops? Do you have MacBooks? Do you have uh, Chromebooks? Uh, iPads, whatever it may be. Find out what you have at your school and use that. Find what games work. These are some of the games that I play in my, with my students. Minecraft, SimCity, StarCraft, Prodigy, Dungeons & Dragons, and a lot more too, and a lot of uh, board and tabletop games. Um, you gotta find out what works for you, what your demographic is. Play the game. You can't actually teach the game if you're not playing it. You have to play video games in order to teach it. It's not like curriculum, it's not like anything else. You actually have to know what you're doing because the kids are going to challenge you and they're going to be like, sir, I don't know what this is. And you're going to be like, I don't know. You have to be actually to show them and, and teach them how to play it. Those of you who played Zelda before, find support. Um, I, I've been lucky enough to make partnerships with a lot of indie game studios. I've actually had a chance to work for Zynga for a day in, in San Francisco. 
and uh, to look and I, I look at a lot of their games, and I, I work with with um, different game studios doing that. Uh, Pokemon, there's a lot of obstacles. For those of you who play Pokemon, Snorlax is always in the way, you can't get around it, right? So you might get some obstacles like slow internet, just crappy uh, 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 devices. <sighs> Figuring out what play is and what messing around is. You have to make it clear to your students. You have to tell them, this is playing, we're actually having fun, let's play, and not screwing around, and, and, and really knowing how to distinguish those two things. Play more video games. This is where you can reach me. Um, you can also find me at myname.com. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you very much.